There are many factors that determine mule deer populations across North America. From habitat types and carrying capacities to human interaction and development. Where there's mule deer, there's predators. The mule deer have many predators to watch out for throughout the changing seasons. From mountain lions and coyotes, to bobcats and black bears, to wolves and even grizzly bears. An average adult lion will kill a deer or elk every nine to 12 days. That's an average of 36 deer and elk per year per lion. And coyotes are known to kill more deer fawns than anything else across North America. Relationships between predator and prey are complex and not easily interpreted. A common misconception among hunters is that simply removing some predators will lead to an increase in mule deer numbers. When mule deer populations are close to carrying capacity, predation tends to have less influence on the population and reductions in predator numbers are unlikely to result in an increase in the mule deer population. When habitat conditions are good, the mule deer have better nutrition and more cover, which reduce susceptibility to predation. No matter what, the predators need to be managed, just like the mule deer and the elk and other wildlife species, to ensure a healthy balance for wildlife populations and for the habitats they call home. To learn more about how you can help the mule deer, other wildlife, and their habitat, log on to muledeer.org.